Brennan School Turn 100 this year and celebrated the centennial with festivities, an open house, and the unveiling of a centennial mosaic. The formal event began with the Ben Calf Rope Dancers to link the Aboriginal ties with the history of the Brennan community. I was taught that the Jingle Dress Dance is a healing dance, and it came to a medicine man in his dream. You'll notice that the dancers are very light on their feet, and their shawls mimic the wings of a butterfly. Having grown up in St. Albert's, where Bishop Dragon started our diocese, where he's now buried, and having French Canadian roots, I think I was destined to be here. We ask the patron of our school, Venerable Bishop Brandon, to keep us under his special protection so that we may prove ourselves worthy of God's continued blessings for many years to come. We have searched through 100 years of history and one of those interviewed, an alumna from the 1940s, best expressed this feeling when she commented on the joyfulness of Grandin memories. She told me, we always say it was wonderful there. So we're celebrating a school that has provided Catholic education to its community for generations, for an entire century. We're also celebrating the Catholic pioneers, the sisters and priests who came west as missionaries at a time when there was nothing but prairie and wilderness to encounter. Bishop Brandon was one of those trailblazers that if there are no roots, there are no branches. You could argue that the inception of Grandin School and its early beginnings represents the roots. When Grandin School first opened its, its doors in 1914, Edmonton had a population of just over 72,000 people. Much has changed. In fact, in the last two years, we grew by almost that amount, more than 60,000. Schools form the heart of our communities. The schools are at the center of our community. It's especially true in areas like in downtown, in our urban core, where schools provide one of the only opportunities we have sometimes to meet our neighbors, for families to come together and work together for a common good. Three, two, one, here we go. We wanted it to have a um, to tell a little bit about everything that we could we could tell with the with the tiles we had. So there's many many stories in there. So if you go up close, you can see the little individual tiles, the stories that the individual people were trying to tell. And then when you stand far enough back, hopefully it'll come together to tell a much um, a much bigger story, I guess. continuously operational school in the Edmonton Catholic School District. Ecole Escuela Grandin has been always a place of coming together of the two founding cultures, a place where the two groups coexisted with respect and harmony. Since 1973, with the creation of the French Immersion Program, with the addition of the Spanish Bilingual Program, multiculturalism continues to be an everyday reality. So it is Grand School's 100th anniversary, and uh, there's enough speeches made, so I'm just going to take you on a tour around the school. And right here, they've got a photo exhibit of basically 100 years of the school's history. I guess uh, what it used to look like. So the school is named after Bishop Grandin who started the Archdiocese here in Edmonton. Drop off the coal and it would all land in here. This door 
would be open or closed depending if the workers were here. And when the workers were here, they used to actually shovel the coal and then throw it into the boiler. So here in the girls' bathroom in the basement, this store here leads to tunnels that go to the legislature. Isn't that crazy? That's crazy. And that's my latest adventure. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, share, comment, like, and subscribe for more.